On the day that defined a generation 15 years ago Sunday, September 11, 2001, nearly 3,000 people were killed and hundreds of thousands more had lives affected forever. Mothers, fathers, wives, husbands, sons, daughters, and friends, but also legacies. Adam Schefter shares a very personal story about the legacy of a man named Joseph Mayo. Joe, he was very good looking, he was very handsome. He had a way about him that uh, just kind of drew me to him. And I knew that I wanted to have children with him, grow old with him. Mother, Mother. Sherry married Joseph Mayo in 1998. Their son, Devin Joseph Mayo, was born two years later. Oh, it was beautiful. You could just see the love. And I always told him he would feel. I said, you don't know what love is until you have your own child. And uh, he realized that. On the morning of September 11th, 2001, Shari, 15-month-old Devin, and their dog Riley drove Joe to the local ferry where he would make the commute to his job working at the World Trade Center in lower Manhattan. It was the bluest of blue skies that I'd ever seen. I was just, oh, it's a perfect day. It's gorgeous September morning. We dropped him off, he said, I love you. And, you know, I didn't know that was really the last time that we were gonna have that moment. I got a phone call from Joseph. He was very out of breath and I didn't know you know, why he, I'm thinking, what's going on? He's like, did you see what happened? I said, no, I didn't see anything. I go, what are you talking about? I didn't see anything. He goes, turn on the news. This just into our newsroom, a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. Uh, it looks like the plane struck about um, three quarters of the way up, maybe a little higher. Yeah, it's towards the top. He said, you know, plane just hit the towers, he was out of breath. I said, well, well, get off the phone with me, get out of the building, go, run. So I thought him being out of breath meant that he was running down the stairs to get out of the building. 32-year-old Joseph Mayo worked for Cantor Fitzgerald in the North Tower of the World Trade Center, three floors above where the first plane hit. I hear the voicemail beeping, and it was Joe again, and he was hysterical crying. He's like, I love you so much. And then the phone just went dead. And um, hearing his voice and that, and him so desperate on the phone, and the way he said, I love you, it was like this end of his life. It was the last, it was like the last time he knew that he was gonna say, I love you. It took a part of me and that part can't be replaced. It's just gone. But, um, you know, as the weeks went by, I realized the reason why I was getting through this was because of Devin. Devin kind of, you know, brought us all through it. Well, a little baby, but he was, he gave us our strength. There was still like, it was like dead inside of me. It was, how, how, how could I do this? You know, it was such, so, such guilt. But I, I did have a glimmer of hope that maybe there would be um, a time where I would enjoy being with someone else and that person would love my son. Hello, everybody. I'm very lucky to be here today for my mom's wedding. I love my new dad. And I'm just thanking my mom for marrying Adam. I honor Joe's story because it is my story as well. 
Even on our first date, Shari wore her past openly. She was a widow and a mother of a six-year-old son. We uh, were sitting in the car talking, when's your birthday, when's your... going back and forth. He said, my birthday is December 21st. I said, that's Joseph's birthday. And I got chills up my spine. I said, this is bizarre. I never got the chance to meet Joe, but I know him through his family. His pictures hang on our walls, and his memory lives in our home. The home I share with Shari, now 16-year-old Devin, and our seven-year-old daughter, Dylan. I think that Joe would have been overjoyed that this is the person that Devin and I picked to be a father. When I am alone with Devin, I always tell him, how much I respect Adam and love Adam. Dad! There you go. Eye in the ball, okay? Whoa! Our family has an unusual dynamic. Joe's presence is there always. Joe is a reminder of what could have been, what wasn't, and what is now. If Joe was here, he, he and Adam would be good friends. He would be so happy about Adam, the way he treats Shari, the way he treats Devin, the way Adam treats his family, Joe's, Joe's family, in ways we feel like, uh, like my son sent them. And I look up to the sky, breathe before the dawn. How can a man I never met still managed to have one of the single biggest impacts on my life. It speaks to all he accomplished and the man he was. He helped deliver my son and strengthen my wife. Joseph created a life for himself and without knowing, helped create one for us too. A well put together man is said to be sharp. At GMC, we get why people appreciate that kind of precision. After all, precision is the kind of sharp that slices through a crowd. This is the precision of professional grade. Step up to GMC and get 20% below MSRP on select 2016 Sierra 1500 models, or pay no interest for 72 months on all 2016 Yukons. Tell me, how do you like to learn? Songs are my favorite. Oh, Elmer likes songs. Puzzles! Oh, me love puzzles. Well, puzzles are a great memorization tool. Dinosaurs! Yes, puppies! Oh, I love puppies! So do I. Actually, pets can teach important lessons about... Dancing! Oh, Elmer loves to dance! Okay, then. Let's dance. Yeah! <laughs> Buy one, get one boneless wing. It's the best of both worlds. Yeah, there's way more worlds than that. There's Earth. Right. Earth 2. No, just pick another planet. Florida. Buy one, get one free boneless wings are out of this world. This is how you signing. You may wonder how we pack all that great taste into just 96 calories. Well, that's a mystery you don't need to solve. You just get to enjoy. Spelled different because it's brewed different. Do you believe the United States is the greatest country in the world? You ready for a little action? They're gonna come for me. They're gonna come for all of you, too. Snowden rated R. Esurance does auto insurance a smarter way, like their photo claims tool. It helps settle your claim quickly, which saves time, which saves money. And when they save, you save. That's auto and home insurance for the modern world. Esurance, an Allstate company. Click or call. Esurance does insurance a smarter way, which saves money, like bundling home and auto coverage, which reduces red tape, which saves money. And when they save, you save. That's home and auto insurance for the modern world. Esurance, an Allstate company. Click or call.
I joined because one of my mum's best friends met her husband on match. My girlfriend met her new fiance. Hi. The world has changed. One in five relationships now begin on an online dating site. Three or four of my friends got married to people that they met on match. Are you ready? Okay. Here it comes. <laughs> My cousin met his wife on Match. My brother met his girl. <laughs> I guess you could say Match runs in the family. Match.com. More dates, more relationships, and more marriages than any other site. I'm on Match for a reason. It just works. <laughs> Start for free today. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. Call the number on your screen right now to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. I was on heroin. I used crack cocaine. We are the Addiction Network, and if you have a problem with drugs or alcohol, you need to call the number on your screen now. Addiction is a disease, and you can't go it alone. The call is free, and so is the consultation. If you have private insurance, your treatment could be covered with no out-of-pocket cost. So call the Addiction Network now. Call 800-845-0146. This episode of Sports Center is presented by the new Xbox One S, the ultimate games and 4K entertainment system. All right, my star of the night is the guy that the law of averages says shouldn't even be in the NFL right now. Way back in 02, Sean Hill, a quarterback from Maryland, when undrafted, eventually signed as a free agent with the Minnesota Vikings. That same guy, 14 years later, started under center for the Purple People Eaters on Sunday. Keep in mind, I'm not giving him the star of the night because of his statistical line, just his longevity. 18 for 33, 236, no touches. Not great, not terrible, but considering the average NFL career last 3.4 years, that this journeyman started Sunday at the age of 36, entering his 15th year in the league, is certainly noteworthy. Keep in mind, Teddy Bridgewater took all the first team reps throughout training camp and most of the preseason before that terrible injury. Hill barely had any time with the ones, but he's my number one star of the night. Bucci? Thanks, Zubin. Great job on the blitz. Thanks for the star as well. Cubs cruising towards the postseason. Addison Russell. Having a really nice year. Lines one to left. Ashto still in the hunt. For a wild card, they've been playing very well of late. If they can have a blistering finish, they got a shot. Meanwhile, Russell. That one's going to bloop in there. Two for two. Cubs pulling away from this one. Seven nothing. And here's how it sounded. ESPN Deportes. Ball was mashed. Became one of four Cubs shortstops all time with a 20 plus home run season. Ernie Banks had seven of them, but Russell's having a really nice year for the Cubs. They win. And now, wild card races three teams for two spots. One team, the Giants in Arizona. The, the worst record since the All Star break, 19 and 32, yet here they are. They got a, a shot. And luckily, they're playing Arizona. They beat them 12 or 14 for times. Denard Span. And he hits a high drive. Drive. Yeah, it's out of here. 11th career leadoff home run. Meanwhile, Hunter Pence continues his hot hitting two run double down the first baseline. Giants, if they could just play Arizona every game, they win again 5 to 3 as they're trying to control that top spot in the NL wild card. There's your win. Meanwhile, the Cardinals, not your prototypical Cardinal team, pitching, eh, all around athletic defensive players, eh. They mash a bunch of home runs, but then when they don't, they have a tough time winning, like on Sunday. Ryan Braun hit a home run, his 27th, but the Cardinals just got one run, and it's uh, not enough. Once in future, Matt Carpenter, a couple of doubles, but Milwaukee wins 2-1, to one, so not a good day for Cardinal fans. How about the Mets? Can they take advantage? Ioannis Cespedes, three on, four in. Grand slam. Another good one-handed catch by the vendor. Sweet. 
30th home run. Watch it again. Dude, boom. That's a beaut. Mets win. So again, three-team race for the NL wild card. Giants in control of the top spot. They're a game and a half up on the Mets. How about the Mets? Cardinals just a half game out and tied in the loss column with New York. But you might give the Mets a slight advantage down the stretch. See if the Cardinals can get it together. You can't watch everything. We did. From Sunday, top 10, we begin with the Bengals. Wow. How about A.J. Green working on Darrell Revis? What a combination that is. Two of the best in the game going head to head. Green did well. Bengals did well. They win by one. Royals, White Sox, hot corner. Chester Cuthbert. And then no one is smoother. The Eric Hosmer at first. His scoop preserves the top play number nine. Royals win 2 0. Carson wins. Look at Zach Ertz. One paw. The Eagles beat the Browns 29 10. English Premier League, Swansea, Chelsea. Chelsea shot deflected into the air. Diego Costa. Joink! Bicycle kick. 2-2 draw on that one. U.S. Open men's final. Djokovic. Pavrinka. Touch. Volley. Win. Pavrinka wins the U.S. Open. His third slam in his career. Joker was going for number 13. Had a bit of a toe injury. But Stan, the ascent of Stan, was the difference. Men's college soccer. Ricard Lindquist takes the corner for the University of Buffalo. And he bends it into the net. Buffalo beats Liberty 2-1. to one. Number four, Bobby Orr. Carson Palmer, Larry Fitzgerald. What a game for Larry Fitzgerald. His 100th career touchdown reception. However, the Patriots come back, kick a field goal, and win the game. Number three, Buccaneers, Falcons, Jameis Winston, Charles Sims. Sims catches the ball at the 20, and from there, there's a lot of red Falcon jerseys there, but Sims swears the word, spins the verb. No diggity, no doubt. Bucks beat the Falcons 31-24. Number two. Titans, Vikings, Marcus Mariota, DeMarco Murray present. Yo! That's like what? 12 and a half feet. Whee! Vikings, however, beat the Titans 25 to 16. Number one, Aaron Rodgers, doing what he does. Out of the pocket, shirt grabbed from behind, and a laser to Devontae Adams. Watch it again. Shirt pulled. Off his platform, Trent Dilfer. Feet were in the air, and that's a laser. Packers win 27-23. Oh, that music means Monday night football. And on the first Monday night, we get two games. Sean McDonough, the great Sean McDonough, John Gruden calling Pittsburgh and Washington. Note, note the start, 6.55 Eastern time for game one. And then Rams 49ers, game two. Monday night countdown gets you started for a Monday night football double header to begin our season at ESPN. Following the game, Scott Van Pelt. Of course, the... Post-game show guys will be out there. Steve Levy and the gang. Scott will be here in studio to quarterback it from here to get reaction. And, of course, all of the sports from Monday as well. Scott Van Pelt after Rams 49ers Monday night. America's star Larry Fitzgerald. Eight catches, 81 yards, two scores, including the 100th of his NFL career. Yeah, Marissa, does he have to retire at the end of the season? Yeah, he brought it as well, but the Patriots in the end get the win. Thanks for watching SportsCenter.